Hello and welcome to the White Belt Program. I'm Herb Robbins and I will be your facilitator for this module on Six Sigma. As a Master Black Belt and Project Leader, I will tell you that having a team with members who have been exposed to Six Sigma concepts and tools provides for a competitive edge. After you've completed your White Belt training, I encourage you to join a team or work with your supervisor or manager to help implement these tools in your workplace. You may also visit our website, lean2020.com, to search for additional information and further training opportunities. After all, this is not just about your employer, this is also about valuable, marketable skills that you will soon possess. Now prepare to enter the world of Six Sigma. Six Sigma means a number of different things. As a program, Six Sigma initiatives drive results through linking of people, training, and projects. These programs can get large and inefficient, which unfortunately earns a bad name for this potentially good program. As a methodology, problems are broken down and solved systematically. DMAIC is an acronym for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. We'll describe these later in this module. As a measurement, the sigma value relates to process capability. This will be touched on in process control modules during higher level belt trainings. Let's talk about players within the program. The different belts relate to the levels of proficiency. White belts are the entry level of the operational excellence program as we believe all employees should be exposed to these tools even if it's just at this basic level. This level makes up the foundation of the program. Higher level belt candidates are taken from the pool of white belts that have the desire to learn more and affect change in the workplace. Due to the limited time commitment of the training, this is normally accomplished within the first month of hire or program start. Yellow belts make up the next level. Folks from all over an organization can be yellow belts. These folks do not lead teams, but certainly work on projects and issues. This training is provided over a three-day period. Key managers should receive this training as a minimum to better understand the capabilities of the program and to also learn the terminology. Greenbelts lead teams and work on projects part-time. As engineers, the two weeks of Greenbelt training simply make these folks stronger as they now possess better knowledge of the tools and concepts. Other green belts may be found as your most productive supervisors and managers. Black belts provide the leadership and guidance for projects and teams from concept to completion. Because of the advanced topics, this level of training is generally recommended for program leaders, managers, and senior engineers. The typical black belt training spans four to five months for a total of four weeks of training during which time the black belt candidate works on a project. Training managers and executives so that they fully understand their responsibilities is vital to the success of the program. These folks are responsible for supplying the resources and will need to know that there is a commitment with respect to time and money before the savings begin to roll in. Champion training is sometimes combined with or performed as yellow belt training. Not all businesses will need master black belts. This advanced level of training is good for program director or engineers that are faced with extremely difficult projects. For smaller organizations, networking may help to find a master black belt resource to consult with if a major problem creeps up that you are struggling with. Large companies should seriously consider this level for key managers within their program. Conventional problem solving links the problem with the solution. This can be costly when the one size fits all approach is taken or there just isn't enough information to make a good decision. The Six Sigma problem solving model takes a practical problem and turns it into a statistical or mathematical problem which can be solved. The solution is then turned back into a practical solution for implementation. This secondary approach takes the guesswork out of problem solving. DMAIC stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and Control. This methodology will work whenever there is an existing process that needs to be improved. Let's review the five steps. During the define step, the champion will place the problem, team, and leader together. The scope of the problem with objectives needs to be made clear, such as the scope of the project is to reduce defect A by 25%. Project due dates are important as are the objectives. A project charter identifies these and other critical characteristics. Once the team has been formed, it's important to understand and validate where the starting point is. If each of the five team members were to draw a process map, there would most likely be five different maps with no guarantees that any one of those would be right. Additionally, errors in the variation within the measurement system need to be verified. The team first task is to begin to work together to identify and validate the starting point. 
All the variables are identified on the process map in tools such as CNE matrix and FMEA, which are cause and effect matrix and failure modes effect analysis are started. Some of the advanced tools will help us prioritize variables so that we are working on controlling the right things. If there are several inputs to our process and one contributes 80% to the output, then that's where I want to focus my attention. During the analyze step, we look at all the information that we've collected during the prior steps to understand how things are interrelated. We identify opportunities along the way so our enhanced system will be much stronger. During lean projects, we are also identifying opportunities within our value streams. You'll learn more about the eight different forms of waste that exist in all environments during the lean modules of the white belt program. During the improve step, the team begins to develop and implement the enhancements that they've identified from the previous steps. Some of this can be done immediately while other process changes take more time. All process changes require proper approvals and communication to all involved is critical. Additionally, some advanced research may be need to be performed at this time, such as DOE and pilot runs. The last step in the DMAIC process is control. During this time, we are monitoring the enhancements that we've made to the process. We want to ensure that the changes that we've made actually create positive results. During this time, we're training area personnel and handing off the process to the owner. Final verification of project deliverables are also made at this time. Six Sigma is a proven program and methodology that can yield impressive bottom line results. As a minimum, the powerful tools and hands of employees who are now speaking a common language of improvement is a good thing. Organizations need to avoid the pitfalls such as not involving everyone. Basic training such as the white belt level cannot be overemphasized. Executive champions need to provide resources and then hold folks accountable. Management who are not part of the program and do not believe in these concepts will be the root cause of its failure. Congratulations on completing the Six Sigma module of the White Belt program. Before you head off though, let's briefly review what you've learned. Think of Six Sigma as a program with different levels of belts who possess corresponding levels of concept and tool proficiency. These belts enhance our workplaces. Think also of the methodology. Define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. When we follow these steps with a strong, diverse, and cross-functional team, the results are overwhelming. Also, think of Six Sigma as a measurement, which is reviewed during higher-level belt training. And lastly, I encourage you to share our website with others and consider attending one of our higher-level belt programs to further your understanding of these tools, as well as learning other valuable ones. Good luck with completing your white belt.